Oh, here's Roberto's humongous pizza base. Mmm. I've noticed something. All the golf balls are in a circle and it looks like we've got one, two, three, four white golf balls between a coloured golf ball. So I'm going to be able to count in fives, I think. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five here, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. There's sixty golf balls. And I think that's really helpful because there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So, I've got the coloured golf balls and it looks like I've got an orange one there, then a yellow, yellow, then a pink, yellow, yellow, red. So it's almost as though the yellow ones mark every five minutes. And the other coloured ones mark the quarters of the circle. So there's one quarter, another quarter, another quarter, and another quarter. Interesting. Let's put some cones at every quarter. I'm going to use the yellow ones. I like this idea of an extra golf ball there, the monster's left. Tell you what I'll do. I'm just going to mark the quarters with some extra golf balls. I'm liking this. So I'm thinking, on a clock, we have quarters. That's halfway around that width. I wonder what numbers go on our clock. I've got some here. On a clock, three goes there. goes there. Nine goes there. And twelve goes there. I wonder why those numbers are there. I suppose it's the, it might be linked with multiples of five. One multiple of five. Two multiples of five. Three. Four. Five. Six. So, could be a link with that. Oh. Let's put some other cones out. I wonder what numbers go on these cones. Hmm. I've got them here. I think one goes there. Two. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? One multiple of five, two multiples of five, three. This must be four then. There's five. <laughs> So, we've got all the cones out. And our clock's interesting because you can count like this. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. So you don't go to thirteen, or do you? I suppose thirteen would be twelve and one more. Huh. Every day we have two sets of 12 that we count around. So we have 12 hours in the morning and 12 hours in the afternoon. So we have two 12s every day. <laughs> I keep kicking the centre of my clock. In fact, that reminds me, I probably need the centre of my clock. Why don't we pop... Oh, we'll leave the golf ball there. Pop that in the centre. Hmm. And maybe... that to help. So that's the centre of my clock. When we have clocks, clocks have hands. Not like our hands like this, but they have an, we have an hour hand and a minute hand and sometimes a second hand. I'm going to talk about the hour hand first. This tends to be the shortest of the hands. Hour hand, and this is going to be our minute hand. With the hour hand, it points to what time it is, if you like. It helps us to understand. So when it's pointing exactly at 12, the hour hand, it means it's 12 o'clock. If it's pointing exactly to the two, so it's looking at the cones, it's not looking at the golf balls, it's looking at the cones, it's exactly two o'clock. If it was pointing halfway between the one o'clock one and two I wonder what time it is if it's pointing halfway between well the answer is it's half past one it's halfway between one o'clock and two o'clock if it's pointing to three it must be three o'clock if it's pointing to halfway between three and four it's half past three so this clock this, ha this hand, so this hand tells us the time with hours. I'm going to move it out of the way for a minute. This is the minute hand. This hand doesn't look at cones, it looks at golf balls. So when it points to number one, if you like, it's not looking at the one, it's looking at how many golf balls. One, two, three, four, five. So it's pointing to the five. When it points here, we've got two sets of five, 10. Here, it's 15. It's counting minutes. So when the minute hand is pointing there, it's counted five, 10, 15 minutes. It's also a quarter past the hour. If it points here, it's counted 20. Pointed here, it's counted 25. If it's pointing here, oh, 25, 26, 27, it will be 27 minutes past whatever hour it is. So this hand is the minute hand. It points to the golf balls which are representing the minutes. So if I had that hand pointing there, it will mean it's exactly on the hour. Let's get the hour hand. Here's our hour hand. This, oh, <laughs> it doesn't want to stay still. This is 12 o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the 12 and the hour hand is pointing to the 12. If I move the hour hand to there and the minute hand stays here, we've got no extra minutes we have exactly one hour. This will be one o'clock. If the hour hand was pointing to the two and the minute hand was still here, it would be two o'clock. But remember, if I pointed that halfway between the two and the three, it will be half past two. Well, the minute hand's in the wrong place then because when, as that moves around, this hand He's going around counting the minutes. And how many minutes in, in half an hour? Well, 
Remember that was quarter past, half past. So the minute hand has moved all the way around. So half past two would look like this. The minute hand has gone halfway round my giant clock and the hour hand is halfway between the two and the three. It's half past two. I can tell it's half past two without this one because it's just halfway between those two. But this helps me to know it's 30 minutes past. So if I pointed it, if the hour hand was pointing to the four and this one was up here, what's the time? It's four o'clock. If the minute hand was pointed down here, and that was pointing halfway between the four and the five, what's the time? Half past four. If I had the hour hand pointing to the nine, and the minute hand up here, what's the time? Nine o'clock. If the hour hand was pointing halfway between the nine and the ten, and this hand was going down there, what's the time? Half past nine. But what would happen if I did this? Oh. Well, the minute hand has gone a quarter of the way around the clock, and the hour hand has gone a quarter of the way around from nine to 10. This is a quarter past nine. Then we might have half past nine. Minute hand is halfway around the clock. The hour hand is halfway between nine and 10. Then we might have this one, what's that? Well, the minute hand has gone quarter, half, three quarters of the way around the clock. And the hour hand is three quarters of the way between nine and 10. It's three quarters past nine, but we don't tend to say that. We say it's of a quarter to go until 10 o'clock. So it's a quarter to 10. So the hour hand relates to the cones. The minute hand is about the golf balls. Don't you think cones and golf balls make a great clock? 